good morning students welcome back to your online english class in the previous lesson of the chapter we are not afraid to die if we can all be together we read that how for the narrator and his entire family it was a matter of survival they were stuck in the middle of the ocean with their ship broken down and they were looking for finding a way out to save the life of everyone who was there on the boat so the immense support that the narrator had got from his family members including his two kids and his wife proved to be a blessing in disguise he was infused with lot of determination courage and zeal to help his family in whatever way he could let us have a look at para number 9 and we will see and check that how the story proceeds ahead I checked and rechecked my calculations. We had lost our main compass, and I was using a spare which had not been corrected for magnetic variations. I made an allowance for this and another estimate of the influence of the westerly currents which flow through this part of the Indian Ocean. About 2 p.m., I went on deck and asked Larry to steer a course of 185 degrees. If we were lucky, I told him with a conviction I did not feel he could expect to see the island at about 5 p.m. Then with a heavy heart I went below climbed on my bunk and amazingly dozed off when I woke it was 6 pm and growing dark I knew we must have missed the island and with the sail we had left we could not hope to beat back into the westerly winds at that moment a tousled head appeared to my bunk can i have a hug jonathan asked so was right behind him in this paragraph tousled head refers to disarranged hair of the narrator's son jonathan bunk is a bed and dozed off means to go off to sleep in this paragraph we get to know that the narrator rechecked his calculations he went through the entire maps and directions and he got to the conclusion that if they steer the ship to 185 degrees then they could reach the nearby island at about 5 pm but unfortunately narrator went off to sleep and he woke up at 6 pm and possibly he thought that he had missed the chance to save his family because it was growing dark and he found that there was no way back to beat the westerly winds so the narrator estimated the influence of the westerly currents which flow through the indian ocean and so around 2 pm he went on deck and asked larry to steer the wheel to 185 degrees he felt if they were lucky they would see the island by 5 pm but as he had slept he started worrying about how they would tackle the westerly wind more as the ship was not capable to sail more and then his son came to his surprise and asking for a hug uh, followed by his daughter with a cracking news that they had reached the offshore and they ended up calling him to be the best father and the best captain out there in this entire world let us have a look at para number 10 why am i getting a hug now i asked because you are the best daddy in the whole world and the best captain my son replied not today john i'm afraid why you must be said sue in a matter of fact voice you found the island what i shouted it's out there in front of us they chorused as big as a battleship i rushed on the deck and gazed with relief at the stark outline of the amsterdam it was only a bleak piece of volcanic rock with little vegetation the most beautiful island in the world so to the surprise of narrator he found himself and his family to be safely landed up at the island and that was the most beautiful surprise that he had ever got the narrator told the narrator rushed to the deck and gave a sigh of relief because they could see the complete outline of the island amsterdam there was a bleak piece of volcanic rock in front of them it had a little vegetation and so it was the most beautiful island in the world why is it being referred as the most beautiful island in the world because for the narrator's family it was a matter of survival so the moment they got to know that they had landed up safely to that amsterdam island he got to the conclusion that possibly 
that island would have been the best one out there in the entire world because that island is responsible for saving the lives of narrator's family. Have a look at next paragraph. We anchored offshore for the night and the next morning all 28 inhabitants of the island cheered as they helped us ashore. With land under my feet again, my thoughts were full of Larry and Herbie, cheerful and optimistic under the direst stress, and of Mary who stayed at the wheel for all those crucial hours. Most of all, I thought of a seven-year-old girl who did not want us to worry about a head injury and of a six-year-old boy who was not afraid to die. In this paragraph, anchored means to move a ship to the sea bottom. Offshore is situated at the sea, some distance from the shore. Ashore is on the shore of the land. And optimistic means being hopeful and confident. So in this paragraph, we get to know that they moved the ship at some distance from the shore. And the next morning, 28 inhabitants of the Amsterdam island helped them to move on the shore of the land. As he felt the land again on his feet, he thought of his crewmen and his wife. He also thought of his seven-year-old daughter who was injured badly. She had to go through six minor operations to remove the blood clot in her head. And his son who never gave up and was not afraid to die. So dear students, while summing up the entire story, we will get to the fact that home, sweet home is built of loving, sweet and affectionate family members. Howsoever testing time it might be, with the help and support of your loved and dear ones, it could be conquered. Apart from this, we also get to that, we also get to know that negativity is just a state of mind. If you will give a place to negative thoughts like being afraid to die, being afraid to succeed, then obviously it will seize your potential and capability to challenge yourself. In this story, we have seen that the support that the narrator got from his family members put aside all those negative thoughts that were creeping inside his head. Initially, he was afraid. He was thinking about death. He was thinking about the miserable fortune for everyone there on the board. But simple moments of joy, happiness, cooperation that he received from his children, from his wife, from his crew man culminated the entire effort in to a final victory as they finally landed off onto the shore wherein they could see a new sunshine, a new day, a new beginning. So the outcomes of this lesson is this that you are not defeated until you accept yourself to be defeated. So always have positivity out there in your mind, in your thoughts and in your action. In the next class, we will start with the new chapter. Till then, take care of good yourself. Bye-bye.